When the Voyager 1 probe set off into space in 1977, truly no one had expected the incredible success of this mission. Actually, Voyager 1 and its identical sister probe Voyager 2 were supposed to study the outer planets of the solar system for only four years. Then, both reached as the first objects ever made by humans, interstellar space. And possibly, they'll explore strange worlds in a distant future. Today, we take a closer look at the Voyager 1 mission, its most exciting finds, and the probe's fascinating future. But before we get to the story of this milestone in space exploration, we'd like to ask for your active participation in our channel. We'd love to hear your opinion on the theme of the video. If you're one of our subscribers, you'll always get a heart for your valuable contribution from now on, and we'll pin your comment to the top where it will be read first by everyone. Just make sure you've subscribed, like the video, and mention both at the beginning of your comment. Voyager 1, the success mission. It's almost unbelievable, but when this probe launched its way into space, it was 1977, a time of upheaval on Earth. Orange and brown were the fashion colors par excellence, women were fighting for their freedom, and students for the right to free speech. Today, some 45 years later, the world looks very different. Not only has the Earth changed at breakneck speed, but our view of the solar system and the universe is very different today than it was in the late 1970s. Today, with super telescopes like James Webb, we are looking deeper and sharper into space than ever before. Robots are exploring Mars, and the first colony may soon be established on the moon. When Voyager 1 and 2 launched in the 1970s, we knew little about the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, or Uranus and Neptune. The images sent by these two exceptional probes changed everything humans knew about the cosmos up to that point. Voyager 1's mission actually only planned to photograph Jupiter and Saturn in true color for the first time to gain closer impressions of the gas giant's moons, and that would have been it by the end of the 1980s. But today, the probe is the first human-made object in interstellar space. Until 2030, Voyager will continue to send data to Earth from areas that no scientist has ever investigated before. Even after the end of the expected radio contact, the probe is far from really at the end. Voyager 1 will continue to fly until it reaches the nearest star system to Earth, Proxima Centauri, in 16,700 years. That Voyager 1 will accomplish this exceptional feat in human spaceflight, NASA did not dare to hope in the 1970s. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 was equipped with a very special message in case of first contact with extraterrestrials. How this looks, we'll show you at the end of the video. But now we turn first to the most important discoveries of the probe. Jupiter in true color for the first time. The first probe ever to photograph the gas giant Jupiter was Pioneer 10 in 1973. Just a few years later, Voyager 1 reached the Jupiter system and delivered the first sharp images in true color, as well as movie footage that showed not only the large red spot, but also the planet's incredible surface activity. The images sparked excitement among worldwide researchers and ordinary people at the time. Never before had people seen so much detail from one of the most important planets in the system. Although Jupiter already excited people, it was its moons in particular that made a splash with Voyager's Jupiter mission. The probe approached the moon Io to within 18,460 kilometers on March 5th, and that same day, photographed and filmed the moon's Ganymede at a distance of 112,030 kilometers, and Europa at a distance of 732,270 kilometers. The following day, Voyager 1 came as close as 123,950 kilometers to the last moon to be studied, Callisto. The moons of Jupiter are very large and could therefore be observed for the first time by astronomers with comparatively simple telescopes as early as 1610. Nevertheless, 
For a long time, the moons remained nothing but obscurations in front of the planet Jupiter. Nobody knew what these moons looked like or what was going on on their surfaces. Of course, astronomers assumed moons of the outer planets were similar to our Earth's moon. Scientists were all the more surprised when Voyager 1 discovered nine active volcanoes on Io. For the first time, astronomers realized that there are moons outside Earth that are geologically active and possibly worlds with the foundations for life. Voyager used Jupiter's gravitational pull to accelerate again and move towards Saturn. Thanks to the clever use of acceleration forces, both Voyager probes have been able to travel tremendous distances in space while expending a minimal amount of energy. While both probes are equipped with powerful plutonium batteries, their power would never be sufficient to cover the distances in the cosmos. Clever swing-by maneuvers naturally use forces available in space to catapult the 800-kilogram probes forward between planetary orbits. These forces already played the decisive role in the launch of the Voyager mission. The construction of the probes was decided in the 1960s when it became known that a window would open in the 1970s, which exists in such a way only every 176 years. The optimal position of the inner four planets gave Voyager 1 so much thrust that the probe was able to enter the orbit of Jupiter in only 1.5 years after its launch from Cape Canaveral. In November 1980, the probe reached Saturn, again providing unique images and insights. Although all these findings and the amount of data had by this time exceeded all expectations, the Voyager probe's most exciting moment was yet to come. Voyager's flight through the heliosphere. The sun constantly ejects a constant stream of particles in the form of the solar winds. During coronal mass ejections, large quantities of particles reach the outer reaches of the solar system. For researchers, Voyager was the first opportunity to learn more about the influences and range of solar activity in the outer reaches of the system. The permanent solar wind and the sun-based interplanetary magnetic field form the heliosphere. The solar system moves through the bubble-shaped heliosphere at a speed of about 23 kilometers per second. Voyager entered the solar envelope on December 16, 2004. Already in 2002 and 2003, the particle sensors of the probe measured unusual values, which is why astronomers suspected that Voyager 1 had already approached the outer region of the heliosphere. In this region, particles of the solar wind encounter interstellar matter and thus change their direction of flow. But in fact, Voyager reached the edge of the heliosphere only in 2004. Researchers recognized this from the extremely slowing solar winds and abrupt changes in direction, as well as an increase in the intensity of the magnetic field. Never before have researchers gotten up-close views of this region of the solar system and our star's sphere of influence. On December 23, 2009, Voyager magnetometers even detected a strong magnetic field outside the solar system. The range of our sun's influences into space and the forces that prevail at the outermost edge are among the least explored phenomena of our star system to date. Since 2007, the probe has been in regions where the sun's magnetic field is unstable. Instead of a single field, the magnetic forces here form bubbles with diameters of up to 160 million kilometers. NASA announced the probe's official entry into interstellar space on August 25, 2012, the day Voyager 1 became the first probe to leave the Sun's sphere of influence and has been flying out into the far reaches of the cosmos ever since. An impossible discovery in 2022? At NASA, both Voyager probes are still regularly serviced. Although NASA experts today jokingly admit that every smartphone has more storage capacity and technical finesse than the two Voyager probes, space research is holding on to the two veterans. In 2022, the control center suddenly reported an alarm. A highly disturbing flow of data was heading towards Earth from Voyager 1. The experts immediately evaluated the conspicuous signals. 
Had Voyager made a mysterious discovery in interstellar space after more than 45 years? After a few days, the situation calmed down again. It turned out that Voyager had not encountered a previously unknown phenomenon or a frightening anomaly during its flight. The probe was only showing the first signs of age and had probably gotten a little confused in its measurements. The instruments were readjusted despite being more than 23 billion kilometers away, and Voyager's flight into space continued undisturbed. In the past decades, opponents of the immense cost of NASA's space programs had often tried to call an end to the two probes. But despite budget cuts, support and operations can hopefully continue undisturbed into 2030. Then the probe's power supply will finally reach zero and radio contact will cease forever. Meanwhile, the probes will continue to fly until Voyager 1 encounters a star system again for the first time after 16,700 years of flight in interstellar space. Proxima Centauri consists of three stars and probably several exoplanets, some of which are even considered super-Earths. Should intelligent beings exist there, which discover our probe, they can receive an astonishing message. The Sound of the Earth Humans have sent countless signals into space since the 1960s, left a greeting plaque on the moon, and equipped the Voyager probes with very special records. The golden disks contain image and audio files about Earth, including instructions to help aliens play the records. You can hear greetings in 55 languages, sounds of nature, a baby rejoicing over its mother, and musical pieces by Chuck Berry, Louis Armstrong, Mozart, and Beethoven. The durability of the gold plates is estimated at 500 million years. Where Voyager 1 will be then, however, is not calculable at this point. We say goodbye to you today with a very special picture. The pale blue dot is listed in astronomer circles until today as in the top 10 of the most important and most unique pictures from space research. You can see our Earth as a tiny pale blue dot just before it disappeared forever from Voyager 1's view. The distance between Earth and the probe that day was more than 6 billion kilometers. Now, you tell us what you think about this unique probe and its mission. Were you on Earth when Voyager started its journey into the cosmos? And do you think the probe will ever be noticed by extraterrestrial civilizations? We welcome your personal opinions and discussions on the topic in the comments. Don't forget to mention your subscription and to like the video. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time at Simply Space.